guys welcome back to the channel today we are watching season three episode three of the final season of young royals i am wearing my elias sweatshirt that says let's start a revolution i figured it was fitting considering the lyrics of simon's new song that he's working on in the last episode so let's just get into it he looks so worried oh shit Oh god, please, please don't put that pressure on yourself. Please don't. Because I feel like that's how she got to the point she's at. Just slightly. Don't put that pressure on yourself, do they? Oh, because that's just an impossible standard for you to meet. Oh, oh honey. Ooh, look at that pink lighting. Oh, someone's asking valid questions. This is actually answering a lot of questions that I had because I know the Hillerska students aren't doing their own laundry, so that makes a lot of sense. Presents? Graduation presents? No, no, they're whatever they. <gasps> yeah. Bro, this music. Not Beethoven's fifth. But the real question is where's Krill? Because he's my fave super minor character. Oh, they can say something, August. <laughs> Really? 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 I know it's hard, Simon, but you really have to, like, just not pay attention to what everyone else says. I know it's hard, but you can't feed into that. I agree with Willie on this one. Vile, sorry. Like, you just gotta let it roll off your back. It's hard, but you are no time. Ugh. Shouldn't they have, like, security? Better security at the school? Especially with all that's happening. Well, I'll make it less obvious, people, that you were just doing their song. Assholes. Couples therapy. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot he can't talk about. His dad's death. His feelings for Sarah. Like I said, only good things can come out of seeing Boris. Bro, he, I know it's addicting, but just, you gotta stop, turn it off. Remove yourself from the situation. <sighs> this is such a mom thing to make their favorite meal, try and get to them to like, forgive them. It's such a mom thing. I like getting their kids good graces again. That's such a mom thing. Look at that rainbow ball scrunchy thing uh, what do you guys call that oh. see august this is your problem you asked Vile how he's doing but it's always for an ulterior motive uh, vincent's still there Ooh. that is not true Rosh and you, Rosh and you love you. Vida loves you. Felice likes you. <laughs> the haters. <laughs> that was such a guy reaction. Um, yeah. I'm glad her dad's coming, cause it seems like Felice gets along better with her dad than her mom. He's in purple again. This is the inspector guy? Or is it the girl? Or is it both of them? Oh, it's probably both of them. Why is he smirking? <laughs> yeah, I keep, keep rehearsing. That's, that's, that's the same as gaming, right? Interesting how they're sitting across from the third years when first years and third years don't usually mingle. Interesting. Or sit next to each other. They do mingle. Oh, I hate that I use the word mingle. Vincent! You're gonna do great, honey. Model minority. Yep. You know what? Whatever Felice says, I support her. Oh boy. When did they take that? She's in purple again. There's so much purple this season. Do 
people usually put cologne on their belly button? Oh my god, he's gonna take the bus? Does he know how? Like, cause Villa didn't in season one. Oh my god. She's still not back at school though, so does she still have her, her spot? Look how quickly that smile was wiped off her face. Oh. Oh, I guess you don't know the half of their relationship. Oh, it's complicated. The fact that, oh my god, the fact that Vila said that to Simon, too, you're the only one I talk to. Wow. What did he end up doing with Rousseau? Because obviously she's not writing. So what did he do with Rousseau? Just sell it again? Sell the horse again? <laughs> August. Oh, Ned, you are opening a can of worms. Yeah, but just because you did something wrong doesn't mean you can't make it right again. Running away, like she's doing. Sounds like he's done a lot of self-work. You make it better. But that wouldn't happen if you just do nothing. Again, I ask, where's Krill? You can do this, Sarah. Yeah, and he has so much anxiety before that. <laughs> Is this going to lead up to the scene from the trailer where they're making out in the hallway? I was right. Boys, just don't leave your clothes out in the hallway, okay? Seriously, don't leave your clothes in the hallway. <laughs> and their curtains are closed. He's gonna relapse, isn't he? Yeah. Bro, and after that entire big talk you had with Sarah. It's okay. Well, you didn't live the same lives. I did do kind of thing. He's playing with his girls. He's playing with his girls. Yeah, but that was Simon. Even though he's younger than Sada, he was the one protecting her. Yep. Okay, morning yoga. Extracurriculars are back, I guess. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he has a little pride pin. That's so cute. Buddy boy, you have no idea how much that meant for Simon. And she has her hair dyed purple. Uh, what does it say? No. Only love. Yep. Only love. Oh my god. No way the kid's looking at him. Oh, fuck off, Vincent. Listen, at least August is an asshole with layers. Vincent's just an asshole. You know what my question is? If Farina knows that they only have one hour of cell time, why does she even try calling him in the first place? He is not responsible for Simon's actions. And his window is going to be broken. Yeah, there we go. I'm just happy he wasn't home. Okay, thoughts on the third episode. Where do I start? <laughs> I think it is so wrong of the palace and uh, Farina, Farima. I, I've been calling her Mano, but apparently it's Farima. Nah. Whatever it is. I think it's so wrong of them to have Vele constantly be the go-between between between what the palace wants Simon to do and like telling Simon to do it. Like that should not be Vele's responsibility because that puts so much unneeded tension in their relationship. It's one thing if Vele asks Simon to remove a post or a Instagram story because it's making Ville uncomfortable about it. But the fact that it's the palace saying it's it's a problem, then the palace should be asking Simone. And <laughs> after, again, I'm saying this, I feel like I'm repeating myself because these problems aren't being solved. <laughs> um, like if they, this is an ongoing problem. So they really need to just have Simone like go to the palace and have a sit down and talk with him and be like, you can't post these things and here are the reasons why because 
Ville is not doing a great job at explaining why and I don't blame Ville for not being able to explain why because it's just the environment he grew up with. So it's normal to him. Um, whereas Simon, this is a new thing for Simon being so nitpicky and conscious about what he's posting online. Like, did he even realize that that sign that says like, basically said eat the rich was in the background of his picture because that's not what Simon was focusing on. He was focusing on the little boy with the pride pin that meant so, it meant so much to him meeting Simon. That's what Simon was focused on. But of course the palace sees everything. Everyone sees everything. So, and thanks to Omar's interview with uh, Gay Times where he kind of spoiled the fact that Simon's going to erase all of his pictures um, from Instagram and I did he say he deleted his account I don't know but we know he's gonna take down all his pictures thanks for that Omar thanks for that spoiler still love you um that's definitely gonna happen in episode four because now not only is he putting himself in danger but also his family and we know that Simon will do basically anything to protect his family um and again I'm glad he wasn't home um, I hope Linda wasn't home either, or at least not in that room, because that's something so scary to go through. And it's not just the fact that um, Simon's gay, it's also that they are immigrants and Latino and not white. There are so many ways that their family could could be targeted, but like, why why isn't the palace doing a better job of protecting the Ericsons. I know it's not it's not technically their job because they're not courting. They're just uh, like whatever the royal protocol is. Um, they've never had to deal with this before. I don't think because Eric's always kept, always kept his relationships hush hush. Um, this, I don't I don't know. I feel like they should at least send one bodyguard, one Malin-esque type of bodyguard to Simon's house or just handle the paparazzi that show up at Hilerska because that not only puts is putting Simon in danger but also Ville and the entire school population that noble people um send their kids to like I, I thought the the monarchy would have a better handle on that because as we've seen when Ville came and when he gave a speech at the end of season two, they do allow paparazzi to come in, but on their terms. So I thought that, like, I thought there wasn't a lot of paparazzi culture in Sweden, but this is proving me wrong. <laughs> I am super happy that Felice got to at least start the conversation about being the only black person at Hilerska with her dad, um, cause I think she really needed to have that conversation with someone and obviously she couldn't have it with her mom. I do think she let on more than what she um, told Stella when they asked her about how the interview went. I feel like Felice definitely said more than they thought she would. But I think, and I think it's going to come out in one of the later episodes, what Felice said in the interview. I still want to know who else they interviewed. Like, did they also go for the other minorities <laughs> did they ask like a, a Vincent type of person who goes to Hilerska straight white male you know of the status quo because they will say different things it's gonna be interesting how the school handles Sada being back because obviously she's now alienated from every single person at the school like before Ellie shed Simone but now she really has no one and she's gonna have to put in a lot of work to earn back Simon's trust and Felice's trust. I do wonder what was in Mickey's glass mug, whatever Sada was uh, sniffing when she came back. I'm guessing she took the bus back because um, I want to believe him that he just fell asleep and he's still sober but as Sada has said in the um, episode he has good uh, phases and bad phases but I would hope that now that he has a 
better relationship with Sada that he'll continue with it and like after the conversation he had with her about like you can't run away from your problems anymore um I hope he still is working towards making things better um instead of just going back into the cycle of getting better and then relapsing and doing that mess all over again and then I and then like lastly I really hope we get some better news about Miss Queen Christina soon um because that's that I <laughs> The thing that really worries me about Christina and her being sick and what that means for Ville is that they're really heavily leaning on the fact that she feels like she can't do this anymore. Um, which, foreshadowing, that can mean two things. Either she's gonna step down as queen and Ville's gonna have to become reigning monarch, um, or two, she's she's gonna, you know, she, she's gonna Eric and have no choice. Either way, Vili has no choice in taking over duties as monarch. Um, and he doesn't even know if he really wants to or can handle it. And then there's so much more pressure where they're like, you have to be able to handle it. I just, oh my god, this poor boy. <laughs> I can see Ville and August coming to some kind of truce slash making kind of amends with each other. Because I feel like that's how this whole uh, therapy thing is leaning towards. But I really, I really don't want to see August anywhere near the throne. And I went into season three thinking that they wouldn't make a super final decision on if Ville will ascend to the throne or abdicate or not. But with how these episodes are going, I think they're going to force him to make a decision. I'm not sure how I feel about that yet. I'm going to have to sit with it a little longer. <laughs> But that's it for this video, guys. I will see you all tomorrow for episode four. If you want to see more of me, make sure to hit the subscribe button and follow me on all my other social media, which is linked down below. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.